Today, we're going to explore the representation of a linear regression model with one variable. We'll break down the fundamental components using the parameters m, x, y, and the hypothesis function h of theta. Our goal is to make accurate predictions based on this model. This is done by the hypothesis. For simplicity, we will start by looking how a linear regression model with one variable looks like. This might remind you of following classical formula. In both equations, y or h of x is our prediction. x is the input variable or feature. Theta 0 or b represents the y-intercept, the value when x is 0. And theta 1 or m is the slope coefficient, indicating how y changes for a unit change in x. During training of the learning algorithm, our goal is to find good values for the parameters theta to make accurate predictions. How this is done will be explained later on. If you want to understand the difference between regression and classification problems or need a refresher on regression problems, you can check out this video. That said, let's understand the critical parameters we're dealing with in linear regression. Let's do this with following example. Assume we have a regression problem that tries to estimate the amount of horsepower a car has based on the price of the car. Then our dataset might look like this. From now on we will call this the training set because it is the data on which the learning algorithm will learn. M is the number of training examples we have. For example, if we assume the training set has 29 data points, then M is equal to 29. Next we have X, which are the input variables or features that we're using to make predictions. In our case X consists of only one feature, namely the amount of horsepower. Later on we will see regression problems with multiple features. We also have y, which is the output variable or target variable we want to predict. If we want to talk about a specific training example, we will denote it with a superscript. If we want to talk about the ITH training example, we will use this notation. To get familiar with this, let's look at some examples. Lastly we have our hypothesis function, which maps x to y. It's our learning algorithm, and for linear regression, it takes this form. It's essentially the equation that represents our linear regression model. h of x is our prediction, the estimated value of y based on the input x and our model parameters. Theta 0 is the intercept or bias term. It represents the value of y when x is 0. Theta 1 is the slope coefficient. It tells us how much y changes for a unit change in x. Our goal is to find the best fitting line, which is our hypothesis function, that represents the relationship between x and y. Now, here comes the exciting part. During training, we adjust the parameters theta 0 and theta 1 to make our hypothesis function as accurate as possible in predicting y based on the given x values. In future videos, we'll explore how to train the model, find those optimal theta values, and interpret the results. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our future tutorials on machine learning.